Hey guys, how to Minier, and today in this quick little video, I wanted to show you guys 10 more hidden features on Android that you can go try out for yourself. Now, some of these features are just for fun, so they might not actually be useful, but they're still pretty cool to check out. Also, guys, for this video, just destroy that thumbs up button and let's see if we can actually make it to 1,000 likes. That's the goal. But let's get right into the video. One, Google Play Game Easter Egg. Now, Google loves to implement Easter eggs throughout their system, and so here's another one that a lot of you guys probably didn't know about, or you just plainly forgot, but it's basically the Konami code. On the main screen of the Google Play Games application, you have to swipe in this order. So begin with up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, and then a pop-up menu will pop up. Just press B A triangle in that specific order and then you will unlock a gold achievement that says all your game are belong to us. Now this achievement is actually very useless because it doesn't really do anything and you can keep on doing it and you will unlock that achievement. But it's still pretty cool to show your friends like you know this easter egg so yeah why not. 2. Chrome Now a lot of us use Google Chrome to browse through the web. And sometimes when we read articles, we want to save them offline to be read later. And I know there are third party applications that let you do that, but Chrome has this option by default to let you save web pages into PDF files, but it's sort of hidden. So to save web pages for offline viewing, load up your website, then tap the three dot menu button, select print and tap the PDF button to save the web page as a PDF file. You can then find those PDF files in your downloads application and when you load up a PDF file, it's fast, smooth, and everything loads up and zooms in very quickly. 3. Offline Chrome Beta Again in Chrome, but this time in Chrome Beta, and yes, there is a big difference. When you have no Wi-Fi and you can't load up a website, you end up seeing a dinosaur in the offline page. Now already that's a little random, but you can tap on the dinosaur once and you are thrown into a random minigame. So in this minigame, you need to jump over every cactus and see how far you can make it. But don't bother keeping track of your score because once you close the application, your high score is practically gone. But long story short, just don't keep track of your high score. 4. Instagram For those of you who use Instagram, you should go follow me at HowToMen. Just kidding, that's not the actual feature, but seriously, you should. Uh, anyways, on Instagram, you can't create line breaks directly within the application. So when you comment or write a description for your picture, there's no enter button. So here's how you do it. Go into another application with the text box that allows you to hit enter for a line break, such as Twitter or Facebook. Then you need to type in your text with the line breaks. Once you're done, you can copy it over to your Instagram and boom, now you have line breaks on your Instagram description or your comments, whatever it is, it's there. Awesome. Five, mock location. Sometimes applications ask for your location, and I don't know about you guys, but I feel pretty uncomfortable about letting the public know as to where I live. So Google allows you to fake your location to the application so they won't try to find out where you are. To enable mock location, go to your settings, about phone, and tap on the build number three times. Then the developer options will be enabled, and you can go into the developer options and scroll down until you see mock locations. From there, just enable that, and that's pretty much it. Now, the applications will have a fake location as to where you are, but make sure to actually turn it off when you're not using it, because if you lose your phone then and you're trying to track it down, then it's going to be in a fake location and you'll have a hard time finding your phone. Six, Google Hangout. If you have the latest version of Google Hangouts, which is 2.5.8, simply type any of the words below and an emoji will pop up from the bottom of your screen and either celebrate, laugh, or wish you happy birthday. You can also type in slash ponies or slash pony stream or even slash pitchforks to bring up a mob or a line stream of ponies. So check out those Easter eggs. Almost no one knows about them and they're actually very fun to look at. Seven, phone calls. When you make a phone call, sometimes it's a little tough tapping the end call button because the screen is all black and you need to glance at your screen. Oh my God, it's so tough. <laughs> anyway, so Google added a hidden feature 
to use the actual power button on your phone on the side to end a phone call. It works just fine and I can end a phone call just by tapping that button. So if you want to enable it, just go into the settings under accessibility and check power button and calls. Now you can have an easier time saying goodbye to your friends each time you end a phone call with your power button. 8. Unlock offensive words. Now I'm sure we all swear from time to time while sending text messages and if you've had your offensive words blocked previously then this is the trick that you're looking for. Go to your Google keyboard application. In the settings you can actually select text correction and under text correction you can uncheck block offensive words. That's pretty much it but just be careful who you send offensive words to. Just a word of advice. 9. Restrict apps. Now the majority of us are very cautious of using our cellular data, making sure we save enough data to last the entire month. But no matter what you do, some applications are going to use that data even when you're not in the application. For example, Instagram or any social media will try to sync every status in the background and then a chunk of your data will have been used from the applications that you haven't even opened. So you can actually restrict background data for certain applications. To do this, you can actually go into the settings, go into data usage, tap on an application, and check restrict app background data. That's pretty much it. Now that application will not be able to go into your data and use it all. It's going to actually restrict it so that way it won't be able to use your data. 10. Font size. Now this last hidden feature is not hard to find at all, but you could actually find this to be a little useful for most individuals. You have the option of making the font size bigger or smaller. The option can be found in the settings, under display, and then font size. You can select small for even smaller font than the normal size, or you can select huge for those of you who have eye problems, that probably helps out, or if you're just, you just want to see your text a little bit bigger, that's fine too. But yeah, there it is for you guys to actually change the font to whatever you want. So all of these features are very useful and they are all hidden, pretty hard to find. If you want to see part one of this video that I made a few months back, I will leave that in the description for you to go check out. Now, if you know any hidden features that I missed, you can leave it in the comment section below. Trust me, I will read them and I will try to reply to each one. But don't say the Android Easter egg feature found in the about phone section because everyone, almost everyone knows about that already. So it's pretty not Easter egg, you know, but thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Kapow!